Hello, I'm Dr. Heidi Horsley, Executive Director for the Open to Hope Foundation, and I'm here today with Kathy Babau Gubalia, who is a writer and grief educator. Kathy, what is Miggy's Corner, and how did the idea for it come about? Miggy's Corner is basically a play corner that we have set up in pediatric charity wards of various mm -hmm. government hospitals around the Philippines. The idea for uh, Miggy's Corner came about in 1998 after the death of my four-year-old mm -hmm. son, Miggy, from complications that arose from open heart surgery. I decided to write a letter to friends and family about the desire to set up a Miggy's Corner, which is basically a play corner and a reading nook at the Philippine Heart Center for children who were confined there. In the Philippines, unlike in the United States, there were no facilities for children to play in within hospitals back in 1998. So the Philippine Heart Center was gracious enough to give us a 45 square meter room, which we furnished with toys, books, a television set, and children's videos. Within each corner is a mural drawn and painted by a group of young and talented artists of a boy playing with a dinosaur. This is because Miggy loved dinosaurs so much. I had written the email requesting for donations of books, tapes, toys, and other reading and play materials. And I was just blown away by the response that came from all over the globe of people wanting to help out and build Miggy's Corner. The response was so tremendous that after opening our first corner on February 20, 1999, we were able to build a second one immediately at a nearby children's hospital and called it Miggy's Corner 2. So, Kathy, how many Miggy's Corners are there today? Well, since uh, 98, 99 rather, we've been able to set up 14 Miggy's Corners all over the country. Some of them are called Miggy's Rooms, Miggy's Wards, and Miggy's Gardens. It really warms my heart to know that so many children have benefited and have been helped by the corners that we have set up. And how has Miggy's Corner helped in your grief journey? At first, it was very, very difficult for me to go back to the hospital where he had died mm -hmm. and to do an ocular of the place where we were to set up the corner. This was only about six months from the time of his death. But back then, I kept reminding myself to just focus on the purpose of why I was there, and that was to be able to build this corner for the children and at the same time honor his memory. Sometimes when you do work such as this, you think that you're helping other people, but in reality, you're actually also helping yourself. So when you step out of the shadow of your own grief and think about the pain of other people, then your own burden becomes lighter. And seeing all the children through the years that have come through the corners is like seeing a part of my son come alive in these children. So Miggy's Corner is my way of remembering and honoring a promise that I made to him just before he passed away. I feel that Miggy is just there in the heart of every child who has come to play or been helped by Miggy's Corner. Kathy, thank you so much for setting up Miggy's Corner. Thank you. We appreciate you being here today. Thank you very much. Along, my bright, bright -eyed girl and me, it was like nothing to be sailing in, watching you Myself laughing and strong for you. Pushing you on a swing, holding you close, and then setting you free. Soon like everything to see me through your bright bright eyes but my courage does not halt or falter now Not 
give us the burdens we deserve.